meteorologist Alan Seals with your first alert storm team forecast. It is hurricane season. Today is the 13th anniversary of Dennis making landfall on the northern Gulf Coast. Nothing in the Gulf, but something is in the Atlantic. That's a very clear mid-afternoon view of Hurricane Chris, a Category 1 storm that is finally moving toward the northeast. Notice what's left of uh, Barrel. The remnants now starting to move into the Bahamas, but nothing coming our way. We've got high pressure keeping the U.S. basically just warm. So there is Chris. It was stationary up until last night. Now it's moving northeastward at 10 miles an hour. Category 1 with winds of 85 miles an hour, halfway between North Carolina and Bermuda. And the forecast track takes it to the northeast, a little bit stronger at first, and then slowly weakening on Thursday. Notice that Nova Scotia, not impacted, but Newfoundland is in the cone. So Newfoundland could see a tropical storm on Thursday going into Friday. And we know this system strengthened earlier today because the hurricane hunters flew in, dropping their weather instruments into the storm to take measurements and figuring out that, yes, it got a little bit stronger. They're literally on the way back now to home base. Look at the water temperature, 84, not too far off the coast of the Carolinas, upper 70s once you get farther eastward, but to the north, this is what kills hurricanes. The water is much cooler. Due east of Long Island, mid-70s. Due east of Boston, lower 60s. So that's part of the reason why storms almost always fade when they get that far north. So there are the remnants of Beryl. In the next several days, it's likely not to do much. But after, say, Thursday and Friday, it could regenerate back to a tropical depression and follow a similar path. Not that it's likely to strengthen and keep on going, but it's possible it could re-strengthen.